Today, we are going to learn how to factor by grouping, and we are going to look specifically at polynomials with four terms today. Our first example here, we are going to notice we have four terms, and I'm actually going to split them so that, that I have the first set of terms and then I got another pair. I also want you to notice that they're in order. If we look at the exponents, this polynomial is in standard form, so the exponents get smaller as it goes. It goes three, two, one, and then there's no exponent there at the end. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a greatest common factor from each of the two sets. And we've done this before, so when we look at it here, it shouldn't be too scary. What can we take out of both of these? Well, 9 and 7 don't have a common factor, but p can come out of both of them. And I can take a p squared out of both of them because that's the smallest exponent. That would leave me with 9p plus 7. And then when I look at the second term, they can't take a p out of both of them. But do you notice that they're both negative? So I can definitely take out a negative. But what's the biggest negative? I guess a 2. And that would leave me with 9p plus 7. Now, if you've done factoring trinomials this way, then this is going to jump right out at you, that we have 9p plus 7, 9p plus 7. So our first factor is going to be 9p plus 7. The catch is, what's our second factor? It's not going to be 9p plus 7 both times. If we look right here, it gives away our second factor, p squared minus 2. And that is how we factor polynomials with four terms. Let's look at another example. Again, this one's in order, which you notice that we have some negatives throughout. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about each of the pairs first. So can I take a 6 out of both of the first two? No, 6 doesn't go into 39, but 3 does. And that leaves me with 2r squared, r cubed minus 13r squared. Now, that would be fine, except if you did that, you would be lacking to take out the r squareds. So when you do this, I like to leave myself enough room to think about numbers, variables, and exponents. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my numbers, which is 3. And I can also take out an r, because they both have an r. And the smallest exponent is 2, so I can take out an r squared. And now when I go through it, I'm going to make sure I've taken out everything. So we have 2r minus 13 left. When we look at the second one, we don't have an r in both of them. And we can't even take a 2 out of both of them. There's, it looks like there's nothing we can take out of both of them. But that's not true, actually. There's always one thing that we can take out of uh, everything. They always have a common factor of 1. So now when we look at it, we can see our first factor is that 2r minus 13. And our second factor is 3r squared plus 1. So can, if you look at this one, we've got, that's the j cubed, and then the j squared is over here. So when it's out of order, it makes it uh, much more difficult to pull out the pairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it in order. And if I do that, I have 35j cubed plus 21j squared plus 15j plus 9. And now that I have it in order, it's going to be much easier to pull apart. I see I have a 7j squared, and that leaves me with 5j plus 3. And I have a 3 I can take out of the second one, so it leaves me with 5j plus 3. And so I can see that I've got my two factors, 5j plus 3 and 7j squared plus 3. Well, another thing they could do is they could give you two different variables. So you notice there's no squares or cubes in this one, but we have j's and k's. So if we start pulling this apart, I'm going to leave it in the order it's in because we have the two j's right up front. So I know I can take two j's out of here. So I'm going to take out... 2j's, I'm also going to take out a 5. So I'm going to take 5j. 
And well, that would leave me with 3k minus 4. When I look at the second pair, I'll notice this negative right here. And if I take out a negative 3, that would give me 3k minus 4. Sweet. Uh, always a hint, if you have a negative in front of there, I almost always take out a negative. Um, because I'd rather the first term being positive. So when we look at this, we now have 3k minus 4 and 5j minus 3. And that's that.